Welcome back everyone to Game Zone Bird Room. And we are on a walk to the Great Glen Way. And here's a bit of news. Uh, last week, Meg, there she is, found out the same ancestral line as Boudicca. No, oh, yes, I'm married to Boudicca. Who? Oh. Boudicca. She's even got a stick as well. <laughs> I thought Bud Boudicca would have been better with a stick. <laughs> Boudicca! Look at that, there you have it guys, Boudicca. I am Boudicca's king with this little thing. Boudicca! Alright, you've got the biggest stick. Here's a little bit of the Great Glen. Look at that. The scenery is just absolutely stunning. Very lucky man. Again, another shot of the Great Glen. Here's Boudicca marching us to our death against the Roman Legion. She has no idea what she's doing. Boudicca. <laughs> Boudicca's leading us into this dark forest. This is where the Ninth Legion disappeared. She has no idea where she's taking us. We're going to see all skulls, if she can get the door open. We're going to see all skulls. Look at that stance. What's your name? A gorge here, yeah, look. Similar to the one Homer jumped in The Simpsons. Oh, it's proper scary. Whoa. Don't like how it is. I will leave you with this beautiful, stunning view. Welcome back everyone to Game Zone Bird Room. Game Zone. Hello. Game zone. And of course, it's not the game zone bird room without all the birds, including that naughty Molly. Yeah. What have we got for you today? We're doing a VR response to Go Aldinio plays fighting with five lives. Basically you get five lives to get as far as you can, usually in a beat em up. He's done Final Fight, Streets of Rage, Turtle in Times, The Simpsons, just to name a few. Uh, go and sub to his channel, absolutely top bloke, top uh, content as well. And so, yeah, the one I will be doing today is Turtles in Time. Here we go, Turtles in Time. Absolute quality game. Absolutely love the Turtle Arcade games. And this one was my personal favourite. So good choice. Go Eldinio plays. As I said earlier, go check his channel out. Sub to it. Does some brilliant content. So I've got five lives to see how far I can get. Probably not very far. But we will do my best. I'll be quite happy to get past the first level. 
Come on, Donny. Always like Donatello. He's got the long bow staff, so... Don't have to get too close to enemies. Oh, we got the, already got punched a couple of times by the old foot soldiers. Love the cartoon series as well, what this is based on. I've got all 10 series in a bumper collection. That's in the shape of the Turk fan. Absolutely brilliant it is. I can show it off. This was a great port of the arcade uh, game. Kenobi done a fantastic version. They really did. Especially when you throw the carrots towards the screen. Great little effect. The powerful Mode 7 comes into play. If I remember the first bad is the fly. The good Dr. Baxter Stockman. In the cartoon they changed his character from a black guy to white. No idea why they did that. But the um, the new turtle films, the bloke they got to play in in in, in their movies were absolutely brilliant, I thought. We enjoyed the new movies. Especially the second one more with uh, Beatbox and Rocksteady with old uh, Shameless from WWE yeah shame they didn't finish the trilogy it was supposed to be another film after that I mean not as good as the original uh, I mean the, the actual original film was just out of this world dark but also quite funny the classic nunchucker scene in it I was quite lucky actually uh, we just got Sky when the movie came out on TV and Sky showed the original uncut version of it so when I recorded it onto the old VHS tapes yeah back in the day when we used to record things on VHS tapes yeah, I, I luckily had the uncut version. Yeah, it looked disappointed when I got the official VHS tape of the movie. And yeah, absolutely cut to pieces. But then, you know, nunchuckers are more dangerous than, you know, nuclear weapons, guns, knives. They do so much more damage than all them. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Yeah, it is the fly look. Graphics on this game is, is pretty good as well. Nicely drawn sprites. Quite large characters as well. You can clearly see what's going on screen. I always thought the snares had that blurry image quality to it. It was uh, never as sharp as the Mega Drive was. Amazingly, I've not lost a life yet. What's that about? I'm actually doing well. It's a first. That's because I've got Donatello, he's the most intelligent turtle. So he's got brains. It used to make me laugh in the series. Leonardo was always considered the leader of the turtles and it was always Donatello that came up with the plan. So what does that say? And in the in the movie, the song says Raphael's the leader of the crew. So who knows? Who knows who's the leader? And amazingly, I completed that first level without losing a life. Unbelievable. Scene two, Alley Cat Blues. I mean, you wouldn't think that this game is a reproduction. The quality of it, I mean, you just whack it into the machine, it recognises it, plays it just like it's a normal Nintendo. I can imagine, because the quality is so good, that they're probably trying to sell these on eBay as the original game. And charging a lot of money. 
so be careful. If it's got no manual, you know it's a reproduction. And if the box looks brand new, then yeah, definitely question it. Don't want to be robbed of your money, your hard earned cash. The old bees and honey. And still, I've not lost a life. Will I complete this game? Probably not. It's pizza time. They capture the cones so well. The enemies, the backgrounds, the whole package really. So the original arcade was released in 91, March. And this port for the SNES was released about a year later. I think they even remade it as a sort of 3D, 2.5D game for the 360. I'm pretty sure. I think I had the demo. I thought it was quite good. What I remember, the controls were a bit clunky. Didn't play as well as like this version or the arcade. Love this, the tornado. Wah. Excellent. SNES is doing a bloody good job though. I mean, the scrolling effect is, is really well done. Can't detect any slowdown. I mean, not as many characters on screen as the Mega Drive. I think I've seen four, four the most. Ah, it's Metalhead. One of Donatello's invention. That always goes wrong. Some of my favourite figures of all time. I used to love playing with my turtles. Because the cartoon creates so many brilliant bad guys. There was just so many figures out there. Head, the fly, obviously Crane, Shredder, Bebop, Rocksteady. The Frogs. I can only remember one of, one of their names, and that was Res Rasputin. <laughs> oh, Shredder, you... <laughs> Just a lot of the most evilest people in the world. Where old splinters so different, you know, used famous artists and painters and really shows you the difference between the two men. Bonus stage. I think this stage is Rat King in it. It's in the sewers. Rat King, like the turtles, lives in the sewers. One episode always made me laugh when uh, Shredder and Bebop and Rocksteady were running a pizza business, and old Rat King basically steals the turtles' pizzas that they ordered. And obviously, it's got like a a device in it that tells him where the turtles are so Shredder Bebop Rocksteady they go to find them and they encounter the Rat King and uh, Shredder says what are you doing with this pizza and the Rat King goes this is my pizza and you're not having <laughs> it brilliant absolutely funny funny as fuck
another classic episode. The old pizza monsters. So many good episodes. The first three seasons are just out of this world. Recently gave, well we did a swap, a uh, big game out, the first three series of Turtles, Regional 1, because so I didn't need them anymore because I've got the, the box set, all, all 10 series, so yeah, swap them for uh, Monaco Grand Prix for the Sega Dreamcast, so hopefully he's enjoying them. Great watch. I mean, the animation in the first five episodes, like Series 1, because Series 1 was only a mini-series, because they didn't know how well it was going to take off, and it literally... Well... Uh, a total phenomenon happened. Total mania, as they say. And, uh... Yeah. Not many cartoons have 10 series. Especially at that time. 1987 to... 96, I think. Maybe 97 if it's 10 series. Yeah, it was annoying. Last two series. Series 9 and 10 didn't have... Shredder or Crane in it. There, were, there was... There was two episodes, which was part one and part two, where they came back for one last hurrah. But yeah, it was a, a different different baddie. Lord Drag or something like it. Something like that, his name is. I can't, can't quite remember. But yeah, def definitely the weaker series. So we are finally in the Technodrome. I did not think I would make it to the Technodrome. Shredder. I used to love Crane. That's such a Great relationship, Crane and Shredder. Always biting at each other, taking a mick, especially when they fail their mission. Terrible team. Both of them were too busy of trying to take over the world by themselves. Instead of teaming up properly to destroy the turtles. must set up my original one DVD player and re-watch them. You're never too old to watch your favourite cartoon. So let me know in the comments who your favourite turtle is. Always like Leonardo, but I don't know. Maybe my my opinions change. I'm, I'm a big fan of Ruff, Raphael, and I've always liked Donnie as well. I did enjoy the new, well, not new anymore when it came out in 2007. The the animated movie. I thought that was pretty good. And then the 2012 animated series, which was a, a computer generated, that was absolutely brilliant. All five series of, uh, of that. But Taco Razor, even the 2003 series, 
which was which I enjoyed, which was more more in line with the the original comic series. It was a lot darker and less goofy than the original the original series. They did a great crossover movie where the the original turtles met up with the two Fast and Free counterparts. And Toko and Razor actually made a small cameo in that as well. Not too sure why they used them in in, in in Turtles in Time though. Because they were never part of the original series. I'm surprised they didn't have Bebop and Rock City as this as this scene. That's my fourth life. One life left. And I'm definitely not gonna get past this, am I? I've done well though. I really have. I've surprised myself. Yeah, not gonna get very far. Probably in the next few minutes. Well I've enjoyed this. This has been absolutely brilliant. Fighting with five lives. And look, uh, just about to lose. Back to my boat race. Well, I didn't do too bad in the end. I didn't think I was going to get to the Technodrome, which I did. But Shocker Razor, they were too tough for me. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Button bash that like. Subscribe. Hit that bell and take it easy. Coming soon, Battle Zone, Bird Room, Game Zone.